Hello there. Welcome to this lecture on ODI data flow architecture. The main function of a data integration tool like ODI is to transfer data from source to target. For sake of simplicity, let's say data needs to be transferred from a source database to a target database. ODI is a Java based application which needs to be installed on a relational database. It has two main repositories, master repository and work repository. ODI components like programs, metadata, connection details, user details are all stored in one of these repositories. Let us understand how ODI works. ODI connects to the source and target database. ODI has capability to understand the source database and sends instructions in the language it understands. In case source is a relational database, ODI creates dynamic views with data elements which needs to be transferred to the target database. It also creates dynamic staging tables in target database. All this is done through built-in Java programs called Load Knowledge Module. ODI has various knowledge modules based on the function it needs to perform and the technology of source and target. The purpose of Load Knowledge Module is to transfer the data from source to dynamic staging tables in target. The data in a staging table goes through data quality checks. These checks are performed by check knowledge module. Once data is validated, it is moved to target tables through integration knowledge modules also called IKM. IKM also takes care of any required data transformation. This is how data is transferred through ODI. Looks interesting, right? ODI projects follow very modular approach. Work is shared between DBA, ODI admin and ODI developers. As an ODI admin, you are going to mainly be responsible for ODI installation, connecting it with source, target and ODI repository, configuring users and their authorities and related operational and support activities. You are going to perform each of these activities in following lectures. I welcome you to your journey of becoming ODI admin expert.